Hello everyone, uh, welcome to video three. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to submit a piece of homework as a student to your teacher. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying Google as much as I am. All right. So here we are at this, uh, our homepage for our classroom. We're going to click on classwork, remember, because that's where our homeworks are stored. And we can see in here, we've got two homeworks a training piece of homework and something called homework assignment one. We're going to start with homework assignment one. I'm going to expand that and I could click the document right from here, but I'm going to click on view assignment, which takes me to the assignment homepage for that particular piece of work. As you can see here, um, my homework is out of eight. Here's the instructions from the teacher. So no more writing things down in your plan or in class everybody gets the same instructions. Here's your homework task. And basically I've got to do a short essay. Now, if I wanted to ask Mr. Hay a question, I could put in a class comment here saying, you know, I don't understand the title, sir. But if I post that, then the whole class is going to receive that message. And I don't want people knowing that I don't understand that question. So I'm going to delete that before I, uh, I click send, and I'm going to go into private comments on the right hand side. And if I put the same message in there, only Mr. Hay will receive that message from me, and then Mr. Hay can reply in private. So you can have a bit of a, uh, a conversation going in private where no other student can see. However, I'm fairly confident that I can do this essay. So, as you can see top right, Mr. Hay has very kindly assigned each student in the class a Google Doc with the title on it. So I can open that document and type straight onto there. So I'm going to go ahead and open that document. And here's the title. As a psychology teacher, I've chosen a, uh, a psychology essay uh, for Mr. Hay uh, to give me. So I can see there I've got a clear question, describe and evaluate the psychodynamic explanation for gender. Bit of Freud and um, parents, if you did a bit of that at school. Uh, it's out of eight. And Mr. Hay has very kindly provided me with a breakdown of the marks there, 3A01 and 5A02. Teachers can put as much structure on here um, as they want. And quite often as a teacher, I will put like a short essay plan on a document as well. So as, as a student, as I'm doing the essay, I can be making reference to that document. Um, I'm obviously not gonna type the whole um, essay, but I need to do something so I can turn that work in without it being blank. So instead of writing the essay, I'm going to say, hi, Mr. Hey, I hope you like my work. Please can I have eight out of eight. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, as a student, I might spend half an hour, 40 minutes doing a piece of work like that. Let's pretend that I've now finished and I'm ready to turn in. So, as you can see on the top right here, there is a turn in button. I'm just going to click turn in. One attachment will be submitted for homework, mark pick for assignment one, and then click turn in again. Wait a few seconds, and there you go. You can see up here, uh, I've now got an unsubmit. So if you ever turn in a piece of work too early by accident, you can unsubmit that piece of work, add to it, and then return it in <coughs> uh, for your teacher. And that is that homework cleared. So I'm now going to go back to the stream page, I'm going to click classwork again. And now you can see that the homework that I've just turned in has been greyed out. So that's almost like having a, a to-do list as a student. So as you do your work, um, the work that you turn in turns grey, so you know that you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, Mr. Hay unfortunately has set us a second piece so I'm going to click on view that assignment now. 
And what Mr. Hay has done here, he has attached a PDF. So I can open that PDF here and I can use that for reference as I'm doing my homework. And Mr. Hay has said, uh, using this article that I've just opened as a basis, open a Google Doc and answer these questions. So Mr. Hay, for this assignment, has provided a PDF um, resource that I can use, but he hasn't provided me with a document to write on. So I've got to do that myself. So I'm going to go back up to the top right here, and I'm going to click on Add or Create. And if I had the work already saved on my Google Drive, I could attach it from there now, but obviously we're doing this from scratch. So Mr. Hay would like this on a Google Doc. A slide is a PowerPoint. A sheet is like uh, a Microsoft Excel. Uh, Mr. Hay would like a document. So Google's going to make that document for me now. And there it is. So I'm going to click on that once and that will open a blank document for me. Now I can go back to my questions here. So I can flip between the uh, screens. And again, we're not going to answer all those questions and waste everyone's time. And imagine I've spent a good hour and a half using my PDF document and other resources and I've um, done a, a great piece of work. So once again, we go back up to the top right. We click on turn in. We wait. One attachment will be submitted. There's the document that I made on Mr. Hayes request. I'm going to click turn in. And you can see here that it's asking me, do I want to unsubmit it? So I know that I've turned that work in. One more thing I could do is go back to classwork here. And now I can see that both those pieces of work are grayed out. And now I can go on my Xbox. Happy Googling everyone. In the fourth video, I will show you what it's like for a teacher from the other side, how they can provide feedback and then what the student sees when that feedback comes back to them remotely. Cheers.